Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit, and today we're taking a look at the HPP handbrake from Moza Racing. So definitely an exciting addition to the Moza equipment that I already have. So if you guys want to get your own Moza Racing handbrake, make sure you guys check the link down in the description. I'll leave all the link and all the information down in the description box below if you guys want to pick up your own. But this is just an empty box because the handbrake is right here. So we're going to take a look at this real quick, go through some of it, and then get it on the rig and go full send and test. So true to Moza Racing fashion, the aircraft grade aluminum, and the two ports in the front for direct into USB, or this, which goes into the Moza Hub, I believe, and of course, the nice etched in there. And the ability to change it between vertical and flat is definitely a nice additive nice sleek design some mounting brackets and hardware and stuff like that and of course you know in the box of course you get you know instructions two different types of cables usb and then the cord that will be going into the uh Moza racing hub as well as other springs and adapters so stiffer spring because this looks like it has a uh, very kind of a soft spring as the hard spring rolls right off the desk Kind of a soft spring. Not sure if I'm going to have to change that spring or whatnot. I won't know until I fully get on the rig and we get it full tested out. And then a rubber stopper. That is going to be like no movement at all. But I believe this one is a much stiffer spring based off the look. As well as it does have the ability. Once again, that spring just doesn't want to stay on my desk. To change these position to make a shorter throw. But we won't able to fully see how we want to do it until we get it up on there. And then I did notice also there's some like washers and stuff in the kit that if you really wanted to, you could use to space this up higher if you wanted to add them, if you wanted to, I'm not sure if that's what they're really for, but you can space it up higher and move it up there. So we're gonna go get this put on the rig and go full testing on it so I can give you guys my full impressions on it. So I'm gonna go get this mounted on the chassis and uh, we're gonna go from there. All right, so we got the handbrake installed on the rig. We took off the Fanatec. It fits really nicely on my next level chassis and the feel of it on the yellow spring does feel pretty good. I thought it was gonna feel pretty loose but it actually is very responsive. Now it's a little bit lower than my other ones. So there's may need to raise some things up, but then I do like this. So I did notice if we were to essentially unscrew the threaded part of it, and we were to put a spacer here on there safely, we could probably raise it up about that far on spacers and that would probably be very close to where my other one was uh, so just a few things that I gotta tweak and change up and you know fit and finish how I really want it but the yellow spring feels r quite well it feels a little bit uh softer than what my other one was but we may try the blue spring so we're gonna go what better way to do it than just throw ourselves in here into a DCGP server we're just going full send apparently DCGP server on a track that I really don't know and we're just gonna go full send he threw that way harder than I thought he was gonna do it try to bring it up he's really on that wall Oh, so what I really do like about the handbrake and the software is the flop, is the fact that I can set it more linear or I can set it not so linear, depending on how I want it to actually go. And overall, the, the software is not too terrible. Um, definitely more solid and more rigid than my Fanatec one was. Cut that right up a little bit shorter than I needed to. Oh, that's a wall. Yep, we popped that wall. That guy's car is loud. So overall, not you know too bad of a placement on my chassis. Uh, I probably could move it a little bit, but like I said, it's not too too terrible. The spring, the spring does feel very good, and it's it doesn't flex. I'm flexing my whole chassis, my whole shift plate. Like my Fanatec one likes to flex around and all that. This guy's doing some donuts around me, so I feel like we probably should just uh, go back on track. Give this uh, 
Can't break a full, full shakedown. Alright, we're gonna get a chance to chase him again. Oh! Yep. So right there when I pulled it in a panic... This car's not sliding right now. When I pulled it in a panic, I felt like I pulled it too hard. Because I feel like that's the yellow spring is a, maybe a little bit softer than I would like it to be. But we are kind of uh, getting in here and uh, throwing down some doors. That car is so loud. Oh boy. I guess we're just going to flip it around. So we're going to go for a lead here. Oh, that's a tire bear. Or a cone. Nice and tight in there, though. Got to throw ourselves out into that outer zone. Quick so grab of that. Yeah, I feel like I need to uh, adjust that spring and change it to the blue one because I do feel it is a little bit softer than I would like it to be. So we're going to go change that real quick. All right, so we got the blue spring installed on the handbrake. And as you can see, we do have a couple curve options that we can actually use. Uh, linear curves, straight curves. We are doing this, I and mean, I believe this is a custom curve. Yeah, so we're setting up this way, but before we do anything we want to do a quick calibration of the handbrake make sure we're getting our full throw into it with the new spring because you know taking it apart and putting it back together you want to always make sure that you are fully set up and we are so we're going to go back into the game and we're going to go full send with the blue spring on i left the cover plate off for right now i will put it back on once i decide what i'm fully doing but yeah we definitely have a lot more uh a lot more pull on this yeah, that feels much nicer. The blue spring is definitely uh, the way to go, I feel, for me for personal use. But, you know, other people may find uh, a different spring tension, maybe lighter or whatever, for them personal use. Yeah, I definitely like the blue spring on it because... I don't feel like when I pull it in a quick panic, I'm like yanking it off my chassis. This track is crazy. Pro oh, probably better if I had my headlights on. I mean, that would probably work at a nighttime track. Yep. Blue spring for me is definitely the way to go. The overall feel of it, being able to adjust how I want the handbrake to feel when it comes to, say, um, if I wanted to engage right away, like the curve pattern, do I want to engage faster, slower, or whatnot, you know, it's definitely a, a very, very cool thing to be able to adjust, unlike, like, my previous handbrake, you know, the Fanatec, not able to really change much, this is giving me that fine detail of being able to adjust it specifically how I want to, maybe specifically for a rally game, or drifting in this aspect. If I want the handbrake to engage less on a gentle pull or more on a hard pull, which is, you know, intuitive how an actual, you know, handbrake would work. So it's quite nice to be able to have that little bit of adjustment in the handbrake now. And it just feels so much better. The handle feels, there's no, there's not much flex. There's nothing really crazy with that, which is super awesome to see that and have a super solid handbrake now i do have it plugged into the moza hub which is on the side of my chassis and uh utilizing that hub adapter that they sent me is definitely great to you know clean up the wiring and use less usb ports into my pc obviously oh that guy sent it so a little quick look at the handbrake oh he disconnected as soon as he sent it a quick look at the handbrake gonna be doing more with it and some more fine tuning definitely a big thank to moza racing for sending the handbrake out to me and you know 
definitely awesome to have a partner like them. So, like, if you guys want to get your own Moza handbrake coming in at $100, probably the best handbrake I have felt so far. And I've used some custom ones. I've used all kinds of different handbrakes. Um, homemade ones, eBay ones, Fanatec, and this one. And this, by far, is probably my favorite feeling handbrake thus far. So, make sure you guys follow me on all social media. Oh, that's a wall. All of which are found in the description box below. I'm People Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Ooh, wall. <laughs> oh, my. Whoa. Okay. <laughs>